Time now for the KSL In-Depth. President Trump now has an interior secretary. Ryan Zinke, a former Navy SEAL and congressman from Montana, took the oath of office this afternoon. As a secretary, I'm going to be held accountable to get things done. As interior secretary, Zinke is in charge of two agencies with a huge impact here in Utah, the BLM and the National Park Service. And he's stepping right into the middle of the public lands fight. Utah's governor and congressional delegation are urging him to help undo Bears Ears National Monument, but Monument supporters are also pinning their hopes on him. Our reporter, Brianna Bodley, has spent the afternoon chasing down tribal leaders and business owners. So, Brianna, what are they saying? You know, both messages are pretty simple. If we bring it down to the very bare bones, they're saying we want our monuments to stay exactly how they are. The tribal leaders, specifically, I spoke with uh, Dine Bakaya. The tribal leaders are saying, hey, we like our area. We've been working on this for seven years. We're happy that the Bears Ears area is finally protected. Please don't change that. Now, the business owners, the majority of the business owners that I talked to are in the Grand Staircase Escalante Monument area. And they're saying, hey, this has brought in a ton of business to us. If you minimize this, if you reduce this area, we're going to lose a lot of business. Now, these were restaurant owners that I talked to, a uh, ranch owner that I talked to, and a man who works in uh, construction. He's a contractor. They all said, hey, we have seen a lot of growth in the last couple of years, and we're seeing a lot of concern out there now that if they reduce this area, if they make this monument smaller, we're going to lose a lot of business. A lot has been made of the people and the tribal leaders who've spoken against the Bears Ears National Monument. Uh, I don't know where they stand on Grand Staircase, but have you heard from any of them this afternoon? No, in fact, uh, our own Mark Juke has been working on that side of the story, talking and uh, listening to uh, p- people who have definitely been bringing that side of the story. I have been in the committee meetings um, where they've brought up both resolutions, the one to reduce the Grand Staircase Escalante Monument and the one to rescind the Bears Ears Monument. And the big argument there, especially from county commissioners, is that these giant public lands are making it very difficult for people like ranchers to survive because they can't get, gain access to that land. And then also that this is essentially uh, too much federal control over land that Utah should have control over. So on one hand, they're saying this is Utah land. Utah should be in control. On the other hand, uh, people who want to keep these monuments are saying if Utah has control, this is going to turn into coal or this is going to turn into oil and we won't have the same kind of tourism or visiting that we're having right now that's bringing so much economic growth into the area. When I introduced you a moment ago, I said that Ryan Zinke has put himself smack dab in the middle of this fight. Is there any indication which way he is leaning right now? No, not yet. He's pretty brand new. We haven't heard from him yet. They're, so from the tribal leaders, they're saying they're confident that he'll listen to them because he does have uh, some history in Montana of working with and listening to Native Americans out there. Now, the business leaders in Escalante are saying, yeah, we also think we have a chance because he's walking into this brand new. He will probably, they're hoping, he will be willing to listen to both sides before he makes his own decision. But while you're going through the approval process, you keep your cards close to your vest. Thanks a lot, Brianna Bodily. KSL News Time 550. You've been listening to the in depth.